you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 31st thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of the child jesus a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 1 verses 1 to 18 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things came into being through him and without him not one thing came into being what was come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it there was a man sent from god whose name was john he came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him he himself was the not the light but he came to testify to the light the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world he was in the world and the world came into being through him yet the world did not know him he came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him but to all who received him who believed in his name he gave power to become children of god who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man but of god and the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of father's only son full of grace and truth john testified to him and cried out this was he of whom i said he who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace the law indeed was given through moses grace and truth came through jesus christ no one has ever seen god it is god the only son who is close to the father's heart who has made him known the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends there are three occasions when we read this prologue of john's gospel during the christmas season the first is at the day time on christmas day the second on the second sunday of christmas and today the new year eve the magnificent passage provides a powerful opening to this gospel it lays out uh, the main themes of john's gospel light life truth world testimony and the uh, pre-existence of jesus christ he is the incarnate logos or word who reveals god to the father to us it was originally probably as early christian hymn other in letter to the philippians all speaks of jesus special relationship to god and his father and parallels closely to other great hymns it opens opening words are the same as the very first words of old testament in the beginning but whereas genesis is really speaking of the beginning of our creator universe john goes back much further to the infinite beginnings of god himself and in those beginning we find the word already existing the word was in a close relationship with god and the word was of the very same nature of god the term word has a number of interrelated meanings for us a word can indicate a person or a thing but here word indicates an active or a creative word the word as a distinctive from the father is also seen as the instrument through which god creates and the word also points to god as the ultimate source of all meaning and reality Jesus then is the word of God God himself communication through him the word came into being and through him we are led to God as the source of all meaning for our lives that meanings is totally beyond the power of our human minds but Jesus opens the door a little for us to see more than we could manage on our own Jesus was fully interested in the world the world which love owes its very existence to him and yet did not know him no in the sense of uh, not recognizing him or acknowledging him to be what he really is the gospel also records surely with sadness that the word came to what was his own namely israel 
but his own people did not accept him. That, of course, is a generalized statement because there were many, including all the first followers of Jesus Christ, who were Israelites. But the leadership by and lords did not accept him and even was instrumental in his death. Dear friends, and now from his fullness we have all received, that is the fullness of grace and truth of which we are given a share, a share which we hope will grow with time. It is grace in the place of grace. The grace of the old covenant is now replaced with the richer grace of the new. Or it is grace upon grace, as the grace of the old covenant is enriched by the grace of the new. Obviously, the text is very rich and dense and needs a lot of reflection. More than can be shared in the brief homily. And as I have said, the same message is really given by Luke in his more down to the earth story of the conception and the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. In truth, the two passages complement and enrich each other. Amen. May God bless us.